two words for you today battle burrito and yes i am recording this on april fool's day which is why we have a pig snout but these food items are pretty easy to make and can give some pretty good combat buffs the burrito can be made by using some cooked pinky meat cooked maca meat cooked area sour meat cooked bobico meat and some cooked aspid meat which we can get the pinky meat from those devils within the nether the maca meat is simple enough to come across the area sour meat i believe is from the big green swamp lizards not a clue what bobico meat is and aspid meat i have no idea where that is either so to begin with we are going to head out and see if we can find any of these creatures to slaughter them for their meat and as you can see i have been able to repair things to a certain extent here bloody dragons but if we find any of these creatures whilst we're out exploring here we will be sure to go quickly murder them so that is one part of the meat that we need and i think because of our flame sword we managed to get it cooked as well even better maybe it was these creatures here that i was thinking about that live in a swamp yes these are the aspids which i do apologize chaps but i really do want to try these tasty burritos i can hear some wolves in distress somewhere where are they and what's happening over there? We will go check on them just in a second. Yes, yes, pals, I hear you. Are you just upsetting these poor turkeys? Is that what you're doing? Because watch this. There you go. There's some cooked meat. Is this what you want? Yeah, you take that then. And I will get you a few more pieces. And here you go, little pal. You take that as well. You go away and let's continue on here and collect some more of these meats then always way too easily distracted although i do believe that we will also require some of these wild berries as well actually so i will be on the lookout for some berry bushes in our travels uh, i really should make myself a pair of earplugs thank you rock well, I have just discovered our Bobico creatures, which are these ones here. Interesting. They are little yeti looking creatures. And they're just going to die the same as all of the rest of them. But these drop us some snowballs as well as some Bobeco meat here as well. Well, we have a few more of them over here, so I'm just going to very quickly take them both out. And that's some more meat for us. Annoyingly, I just lost my rock to a crake, so it looks as if I'm on foot for a little bit. What do we have here? This sounds as if it may be a settlement, so that's absolutely fine by me. We may have a waystone inside of it. Well, we've got a couple of notice boards and we do have a waste stone, which is covered up at the moment for some reason. But we'll activate that and that's an easy way back to this place then. And that's our rock just spawned back in, which is good. We can continue on. However, I have seen that structure over there, which I believe has something in it that I will need. I believe this structure is the friendliest outpost. It kind of looks that way. So let's go and explore it a little bit. I don't have a clue if the friendliest outpost is supposed to be sarcastic or not, if they are friendly inside of it. But we've got the entrance here, so we'll soon find out, I think. Well, there's a few idiots inside of it and a lot of books that we will definitely be taking but are any of you guys librarians and if so do you have any decent enchants no but they do have a few enchanted books within a chest including a mending book how perfect and i opened this room here which at first i thought was just a little cupboard but this carpet there 
is a red carpeted trap door. So how do we activate that? Yes, a secret. With some brewing barrels inside of them, which I definitely want, alongside actual fermenting barrels. Lots of them around here, which is good. But I am looking for a book. This one here, the Almanac, which can teach us everything that we need to know about making some wine, which I believe will be able to help us out whenever it comes to making our different food, because the wine will be able to give us different stats that can greatly boost the food stats. Basically, I believe that if we drink some wine, we can maybe extend the duration of some of these food buffs, as well as make them a bit stronger. So, we will definitely be coming back to this build just to steal some of their winemaking facilities. Anyway, I've now got a lot of crap on me, so let's head back to the Hobbit House and store them for us to head back out again. I see a lot of fire and chaos over here, which, oh, yep, that'll be why. So we'll just stay away from that at the moment whilst we head out and try find a few more of these creatures. We will head back and test out our new battle burrito after we make some dragons galore around here. Holy crap. I do almost feel bad about doing this. Almost. We're at least getting quite lucky with all of these arisaurs, so at least that'll be plenty of their meat. I could really be doing by finding some macas though. Being over water probably won't help on that front. And hello, Maccas. Oh, it doesn't exist. That's a very odd circular structure over there. What the hell is that? It seems to be an entire settlement surrounded by this wall keeping the water out. How neat is that? I don't suppose you have any Maccas inside of here? Let's check. Although those don't look very welcoming banners, do they? A Vindicator Spawner. Um... Yeah, let's maybe loot and get out of here. Really, sirens. Or we'll fight these dudes instead then. A Stray Spawner up here as well. Okay. This is an interesting little place. Hello, Illusioner. An Evoker spawner here too, and some Ender chests, which I'm definitely taking. And that's a second End chest. Nice one. What a neat, strange little place. I will definitely try and remember about this one here. Very, very interesting. A couple more Maccas here are nice for us. A uh, Stymphalian bird is not as nice. But yes, we are definitely starting to get a bit more of a selection of these meats now. I will maybe just need to find a few more Bobicos to slaughter. I do think that the Aspids will be more likely to be found in higher mountainous regions. Maybe where it's a bit colder. So we will scout about up top for them and see if we do come across any. Those are all sheep, yales, which we don't need. And of course I have just spotted another battle tower. Oh, I just cannot help myself. You never know what type of goodies that you can get from them. Oh, bye then. In this case, just some goodies. Nothing too exciting. But thanks to our new handy ender chest, I've got an easy way to store this crap now, which is even better and will let me loot for longer. Found a mushroom biome with some mushrooms on them. Would be tempting to take them back, but I've already wasted so much time here, being distracted by absolutely everything. While I just used a recall potion, which was supposed to take me back to our hobbit house but instead I've been teleported to here where I have got no idea where here is at least I think that was a recall potion I drank otherwise I have no idea what the hell has just happened 
And I've got no idea what that is in the distance, but we are definitely going to go look at it. A small settlement is just before it, and it may have a waypoint inside of it, which it does. So at least we can get back. But I'm still going to head over, and we're going to explore this first. Oh, there's some grapes actually. We need these as well. So let's just harvest a few of these then. Right, what do we have here then? Where is the entrance? Oh, and look what I have found as well. Uh, not an Eripede, which I don't like that at all actually. Another Dragon Skeleton. And I would definitely quite like myself another tier 5 Dragon Head, thank you very much, so why don't you just give me that? Well, I think I have found the entrance to this then. A pretty grand entrance, if you ask me. There better be a lot of goodies inside of this. Obiko meat and pinky meat might be nice, but honestly, I'll take anything. We have weather skeletons, which I am not dealing with. Okay, there is actually a lot of weather skeletons in here. Creepers, I don't mind. The weathers, I do really mind. Error, monster spawn of that one. It's a very interesting looking palace, this. I'm not really sure if there are secrets inside of it or not. There is certainly a lot of nasties around the place, which I am trying to avoid. Blazes and magma cubes in here. Alrighty then, well, I'm not sure if there is a secret in there or not, but I don't really want to get my ass kicked by those things. We may venture back there and explore that at another point. For now though, I should be locating more Bobicos, but... What the hell is that? Well, it certainly got a lot of nasties inside of it. I assume this is another roguelike dungeon that we can go explore. Very odd to see one just out in the open like that though. And we break in very quickly just to see. Oh, <gasps> turkeys. Well, we have whatever that is there. It's pink, I think it's a gorilla, but it runs stupidly fast. I think I'm far enough away from it that I could potentially shoot at it. Is it throwing sh at us? Looking at the health bar above, I believe that this is Pong Kong, who really isn't all that difficult, so I will send in the idiots and they can deal with it. Or I will just deal with it, guys. Sometimes I swear I wonder why I have you. I don't care if this is technically cheesing it, I'm managing to get a kill here without getting my ass kicked, and that's pretty much all that matters. And... he's dead. We have discovered the Conba. Oh, go on then, what did he drop? Turkeys, don't you dare. A plant, soul stone, and some poop charges. Yep, totally worth it. Another place that I'll head out and explore a bit more thoroughly, whenever I'm not supposed to be doing something else. Way, way, way too easily distracted. Well, a couple of distractions later, and we have finally come across some more of our bobicos. So let us get a few more pieces of meat. I'm not sure if these guys are just really rare to find, or if I'm just having some bad luck with all of this, but I've definitely struggled trying to find any of them. So unfortunately, in our little food chain then, these are most likely going to be the problem. Although in saying that, whenever they are killed, they do actually drop quite a few pieces of their meat. So from the few that we found there, we actually ended up with 23 pieces. Which isn't too bad actually, and that's probably just enough for us to go back and maybe see what we've got left for this now. After we do another battle tower, of course. Just the usual garbage from this one, but at least we do have some recall potions. Which hopefully will take us back to the Hobbit House, and not a random location. 
Okay, that's much better. All right then, well, I think we've definitely got enough of the standard overworld creature meats. It's just the pinky meat that we're now missing, which I've got some of them, but not too many of them. Maybe enough for us to make some of these burritos to see what they're like. And we can make 15 of the burritos in total, so let's do that then. And what type of buffs is this going to give us? Strength 4, Absorption 4, Regeneration 2, Resistance 2, and Rejuvenation. In other words, a hell of a lot. So this piece of food is definitely going to be incredibly handy. But if only we could extend the duration of them now. And this is where our brewing of wine then comes into play. Well, the little extension that I've made was originally made so that I could have some librarian idiots inside of it. Unfortunately, they were all burned alive last time thanks to the dragon. But our golden bookworms are giving me the enchants anyway, so no great loss. But because this room is now spare, I think I will maybe turn it into some form of brewery then. Although I am going to need some brewing barrels, which unfortunately will require me having level 18 farming, which I am level 16 at the moment, so hopefully after a few more experience we can maybe get that level. Literally one experience shy from it, so hopefully I do have a few more completed tomes in here. Close enough, right, let's get that then. And that's 18 farming. Although I am just going to nick these guys' brewing stands rather than making my own. So before I start turning the grapes into some wine, I have just made a few of them into some seeds, which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to plant. Maybe better planting them somewhere up here, but if I put in a few wooden sticks, and then I put some twine between them, Pretty sure they're supposed to go something like that. They will eventually grow up onto the twine and then grow out from that. I'll let them get on with that and we'll go back underneath. So I believe that we now put some grapes into the crushing tub, or all of them, and then jump to crush them. This might not be the best place for that actually. I actually need more grapes in order to do that, but if I remembered right, then there is a little area over here that grows them. Which, to be fair, I may just repurpose this area for myself to grow all of this stuff. Alrighty then, that should be enough now for a full stack, so... I believe it was my balloon bobble causing some issue there, but if we just continue jumping on these to crush them down... I think that's them now crushed, we just need to scoop them up. Hopefully something like that, yep. We now have these bottles of grape juice, which I think I put in there, and the the stilling fermenting process has now begun. Well, I'll let them ferment down. Now, can I do the same here with the iron berries? I can. I will just need a few more though, which I do get from ironwood trees, and there were a few of them around here until the incident that we don't talk about. They may all now be gone, unfortunately. Okay then, well I'll just deal with the normal wine today and we can look into those other ones at another point. But our grape juice is just about to finish off fermenting into wine, uh, which there it is. Quality of 0 0.08, which I believe is absolutely atrocious because I believe the quality goes from 0 0.01 up to 1 where one would be better. So we maybe can't drink that without harming ourselves, but I think this is where we then put one in as a control, and the others then starting to ferment again, 
We may need to make another piece of wine for that, actually. This is good fun, I'll tell you. Absolutely great fun. Or should I say, grape fun. Yep, I'm not sorry for that one. I had put the wrong item in, actually. We needed to put in some new fresh grape juice, not the wine. But it is now fermenting down, and I believe because of the quality control, the next batch should be higher quality. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm just guessing at this point. But whilst it does that, I do want to make myself a new item. I'm going to make myself a weather ring, which will grant me immunity to the weather effect, which is a bit expensive to make, requiring four glowing ingots, some form of dragon or weather skull, and some steel ingots. I'm pretty sure that we've got, or can at least make, the glowing ingots. The steel ingots, on the other hand, need steel nuggets. Okay, so we need to make some steel alloy first to make the steel, which will require a piece of coal, however you say that item there, and an iron ingot. The cinnamon item here is an ore that you get from the nether, which I have collected a few, 11 of them to be precise. So that will allow us to make 11 of these steel alloys, which we then just put into a furnace to melt down into the actual steel ingots. As they melt down for us, I need to make these glowing ingots which we have plenty of material for them, but we only need the four at the moment. And we have plenty of weather skills to use, or dragon skills. But with our steel, if we could reach, uh, we need one more, which is done. We can now come into our crafting table and make ourselves the weather ring. Which hopefully will be quite handy whenever we do go back out and meet any of those nasty buggers. Let's go to bed. Or not. And our grape juice has fermented down into an even less quality. Excellent stuff there. Right, so maybe we can just get rid of that stuff and try this again. Maybe I should only ferment one at a time here, just until we get that quality up. If I just put in a bottle each here, uh, is that is not the right quality, then maybe that might be a bit better to do. And that's our juice fermented down again. This time it has gone up in quality by 0 0.01, so that is a lot better for this one. So we now have a better control that we can use. And in the barrel here, quality 0.1. That's even better actually. So this will be the new quality control. Well, I will stick both of them on anyway, and we will allow them to ferment, hopefully giving us better quality here. But I can already tell that this process is going to take quite some time and I really want to go try out our battle burritos. So I will leave the winemaking at the moment and pick it up whenever I get back. But let's go grab out our burritos and go slay some creatures. This is the dungeon here that we got our asses kicked last time in the nether. So let us burrito up. And then get down to kick some ass. Alright then chaps, let's get rid of the wraith spawner first of all. And then the wraith itself. So far, I'm kind of keeping alive. Holy crap. Let's maybe just loot and go in here then. Seeing as I'm sure this burrito is good, but I'll still manage to screw it up anyway. It's the big brain thing. Which is now dead, and some traits as well. Unfortunately, the burrito really doesn't last too long, so we do need to eat a few here. But this is why we are making the wines, so that it can eventually help us with that duration. And our weather ring is coming in very handy here as well. 
I have yet to have any issue at all with the withers. I think those skulls are the wraiths, which are the beasties that are causing the explosions. Yes. Thank you, Burrito, I guess. I am super pleased that we managed to find ourselves an ender chest. This is definitely going to save a lot of hassle with inventories. These guys are absolutely atrocious because I swear they spawned the trites in just afterwards. And another bloody wraith. Right, go my idiots, you go deal with all that nonsense. I've got my own worries to look after. We don't need to talk about that one. That has nothing to do with the food whatsoever. The food is being excellent. That's just my own stupidity, as per normal. And maybe a little bit because of these wraiths. Hello Pinky my friend, I definitely appreciate the meat. And hello Weather Skeletons, you are definitely not that dangerous anymore. Just these bloody geists that are a bit irritating after they spawn from you. And the one with googly eyes. Yes, these burritos are definitely OP. There is no way I would have survived an onslaught like this without them. And the damage that it gives me as well, pretty much just one-shotting a lot of the things around here. Although I still need to be a bit careful of these wraiths, their explosion damage is a bit much. Well, I've got a full experience tome and not too many burritos left, so I think I'm going to cut my luck short there. But damn, does that food make a difference. If only it lasted a bit longer. But we are slowly working on it. Just having to wait on our grape juice fermenting down just to get some better quality. And then hopefully that will help our stats. But we've had a pretty good and most importantly pretty successful day thanks to our new burritos. So I'm happy.